Hello and welcome to Mage Master's amazing adventures with the Firing Squad into Vortheim, the city of the damned. Another day is dawning in Mordheim, City of the Damned, and let's get started right away with the sweet moment after yesterday's heroic battle. And, of course, not the least, follow my personal progress as the Warlock Ranger Mage Master. And the Captain Mason Muckshot. He was a bit disappointed. There wasn't really much looting or scavenging out there. He got a few XP points and an advancement point in mental. Donnie Dodger, he ranked up to level 4. Awesome. And he got two skill points for training. And a mental advancement point. Great. Teddy Toothpick, he also ranked up. He ranked up to level 3 and got an offense point out of that. Great. And two advancement points. One in martial and one in mental. Great. Dodgy Dan. He did some good shooting out there. Even one in a window frame. He got a point for enemies put out of action though. Nice. And Sheldon Shieldwise. Once again you did it. Great job out there. Didn't get much for it here I see. But a physical advancement point. And there I am, Mage Master. And I got an XP point for most valuable warrior. Do you see it? You see it? It's right there, right? Well, okay, okay. Uh, Herman Henchman. You did a good job too out there shooting there. And you got one too. And a physical advancement point. Probably going for strength. And we all got two XP. And while the captain distributes the spoils of war and the advancements of skills, you can enjoy Mage Master's very own first-hand experienced war tale of yesterday's venture into... Vortheim, the city of the damned. The captain had found us a quite normal mission today, scavengers. We needed to crush their will and, if possible, steal the idol off their wagon. The wordstone gathering should be poor and the scavenging would be average. One warband is caught exploring buildings while the other deploys tightly around its wagon. We were up against the Shadow Souls from the Cult of the Possessed. The plan was that I should go to a wordstone field, gather it and come back to a safe house. And Teddy Toothpick should scavenge and come to the safe house. This was our base camp. But I decided to take another field of wordstone. There were a good cluster right there. And I got a nasty Deeper. But there were two more shards. That was some good gathering right there, but a nasty deeper. That was some good gathering right there, but a nasty debuff. Well, it made me go. Yeah. And I didn't make it back to the house in the first run. So I was stuck in the middle of the field, basically all deserted and alone. And the safe house was behind me and they were setting it up well. I was standing out there and the hero literally stood in front of me, right in front of me. And that wasn't enough because his leader, he followed up. And he came with some nasty magic and was swinging a big sword. I was a bit intimidated, but Teddy made it into the house and all the way up the stairs and found a nice spot by a window. And I made it too to the safe house with a good inventory full of wordstone. But they were just standing out there in the field, so the captain decided to run out there and just taunt a little bit. I'm not going to repeat what he said, but it was something like... <laughs> And then he ran back to the house. And Sheldon Shieldwise, he set up a nice ambush out there in the crack of the wall. If it had worked. A new round has started. And it worked. The hero came running right into Teddy Toothpick's overshot. And he ran like a chicken. But the leader was more courageous. So I said hello. In my own special way. And so did Dodgy Dan. And so did Sheldon with his ambush, but he took damage from 
but countered just as well. Now the leader was standing right down there in front of us, and I wanted to say hello. Hello. And the captain sneaked out the door and gave him a hello. Hello. And then Dodgy Dam could like finish the job. First kill of the day. Awesome. Now the hero came running and I said hello to him as well. He came running straight for the door. You don't do that with the firing squad. So I sent him a little invitation. And the captain sent him another invitation. And I was really struggling with some heavy winds, just on my arrows specifically. But I dealt with it. And the captain gave him some more. While he was standing in the crack, he didn't even make it to the door. Even though Dodgy Dan decided to shoot the window frame. But Herman Henchman finished him outside the door. We decided to leave the camp for a better spot. And we were practically caught in the middle of the field. They were coming up on us fast. But we had positioned ourselves well. We just needed to not miss. Herman Henchman did a good job with his dueling pistol. And I, of course, always. Right? They lined up in front of us once more. And they never learn. The firing squad sent... A rain of pain. Sometimes, though, it's very foggy. Or something. Dodgy Dan is really doing well with his dueling pistols and... And Herman Henchman is still training. The captain, who is said never misses, also stopped his approach, but he went behind us all and went for Teddy Toothpick, who took a nasty hit. Dodgy Dan switched weapons and severely punished him for it. I was inside the house, listening for the last one, so I went out on the balcony and said hello to him. But you know, sometimes it's really foggy down there. You can't really see him. It was so, so sometimes you miss because of fog, right? And Mason also probably had a foggy problem, right? But Herman Henchman was doing fine with his dueling pistols until he got attacked, but dodged it so well. He just disengaged right away and found some high ground up beside Teddy Toothpick, who just turned around and could rain some pain on him. And then the captain took a nice talk to him. He said three little words to him. Out of action. And then they all ran like chicken. <laughs> that was a battleground victory with some good wordstone gathering, but not that good looting. We lost no one, put four out of action, and guess who was the most valuable warrior? That's right, Mage Master. Anyway, the whole mission costed no more than 32 gold coins. Overall, an okay victory. Now, let's see who got what at yesterday's sweet moment. We didn't really get anything much out of that looting and scavenging out there today, but the captain seems to have a lot of good blue gear. And he was also given a mental advancement point, and he's gonna take some leadership on that. Sheldon Shieldwise, and he did a good job again. And look at all that good quality gear he has. He's not going to be needing the sword or the shield we found out there, but he's going to need a point in strength. Herman Henchman, now he doesn't have that much gear, but he is not ranked up that much. So he's not going to be given any of the good quality blue shield or sword. He needs some more strength. 
Donnie Dodger. He also has a little bit of good quality gear, but he's going to hold on to his maze. And he was given a mental advancement point, and he's going to take some leadership on that. However, he ranked up and got two skill points as well. And the captain wants him to train Flash Parry skill, and we can afford it, so he is going to train overnight. Dodgy Dan, now he only has one good quality blue sword, so he gets the good quality blue shield we found out there. And he also gets the other sword out there that has a little better enchantment. And he was also given a martial advancement point, which is using for weapon skill. And there I am, Mage Master. And I don't have any good gear, but I have an advancement point in mental. I'll use it for leadership. And Teddy Toothpick, now he doesn't have much gear either, sharing it with Baldy Bowman, but he ranked up, got an offense point and two advancement points, one in mental and one in martial, spending them on leadership and of course on ballistics. And so a new damn day is dawning in Mordheim and it's time to look at the daily report. Donnie Dodger has learned the skill Flash Perry overnight, and Perry Perry has now fully recovered from his near-death experience where he also lost an arm. Our librarian has sent us a normal quality formula of champions. Now these enchantments, they are pretty expensive, so that's not relevant for now, but I can say that they are pretty good, so we are going to be looking at it, and I'm sure that we're going to be using it as well. Let me just say real quick about our one-armed veteran, Perry Perry, here. Some warriors end their warband days in a battle book, others start a new chapter as a warband cook. The captain has agreed to hire him as our cook, so the firing squad now have our own chef. How cool is that? And he's preparing his first meal for us tonight already, looking forward to eating something else than just oatmeal porridge. Another little surprise. Yesterday, when we all went to the new tailor in town to buy a present for our white knight, the two Dodger brothers, Donnie and Dan, they ordered a tailor-made suit for themselves. And today they collected them. They come from a faraway land called America. And like all Americans, they love their flag. So their suits had to be in the colors blue, red, and white. Look at that cute couple, huh? That came out wrong. Anyway, the captain isn't too happy about too many colors. He's more into camo colors. He doesn't want us to look like, I quote, a party of peacocks. Well, the captain also had quite a surprising announcement for us. We've not only recruited a cook today, we've also recruited a new marksman who is joining us tomorrow. He's a woodsman ranger called Nero, named after a Roman emperor because he's destined for greatness. The captain even calls him Nero the Hero because the captain has no doubt that he'll one day become a great hero. Let's see how that plays out. He'll be arriving tomorrow in time to join tomorrow's mission. Now that's exciting, right? And so, here is the team we are sending into Mordheim City of the Damned today. From the left, me, Mage Master, Most Valuable Warrior, mm -hmm, and the Captain Mason Mugshot, since he's the only captain we have still, and our four sturdy warriors, Sheldon Shieldwise, aka the White Knight, and Herman Henchman, and the Dodger Brothers, Donnie and Dan look at them in their fine clothing. And the eye in the sky today together with me is Teddy Toothpick. So let's go! And the captain has found us a hard mission today. Rivals in the ruins, we needed to crush their will and possibly steal the idol off their wagon. The wordstone gathering could be good and the scavenging poor and both warbands deployed tightly around their wagons and prepare to hack and slash each other to shred. Oh, yeah, okay, let's just go. Your scouts have discovered a rival warband in the vicinity. These warriors are clustered around their wagon, making them a very attractive target. And we're in. First things first, let's just see who we're up against while the captain is looking at his map and making a battle plan. The Keepers of Sigmar's Faith. Oh, we're up against the Witch Hunters. Time for deployment. Let's see. I'm gonna be here. And the 
captain will be right next to me. Over here. Right there. And Teddy Toothpick will be here. There. And our four frontliners. Dodgy Dan. Herman Henchman. Donnie Dodger and Sheldon Shieldwise will be here. Let's just check out the plan. Now we have all our frontliners in the front and our rangers in the back. Now the plan is that we're going into this beautiful big house over here and out through this side door. We're overlooking a great big field of wordstone right here, which is gonna be the center battlefield of this battle, I believe. So let's get started. Sheldon Shieldwise, let's deploy you and see. Hmm. And everything is so quiet. And now let's see. Okay. Oh, let's not step on that wooden plank right there. Let's try to go in a straight line here. Oops. There's some wood on the floor over there also. Now, right now, I'm looking straight down on that wordstone field right here. And we need to keep an eye because they will be coming up here. Already in the first round, we may be able to spot some of them. So finding a good spot to protect the rest of the team would be a good idea. So, let's set an overwatch stance right here. I can see a nice big cluster down there. Wow. And there are two question marks in the top of the screen, indicating that there were two enemies taking their moves. Now there's just one. Oh. So, we still have a plan. Okay, let's see how far we can get the captain. Ah, oh, you got my back. I like that. So let's see you. In an overwatch stance. And two more enemies are making their turns. And we're just keeping our eyes open on that field over there. It's gonna be the epicenter of all battles today, I believe. And Teddy Toothpick. We're taking you as far as you can go. Let's just see if we can get you around this wall. It looks like it, yeah. And you have a range on that hunting rifle. So maybe you would be the first one to get first blood today. Let's hope it's not them. Uh, let's see here. You got some heavy gear, so you probably... Oh, we're gonna take that chance. Oh, I could make it without. Let's see. How are we gonna be able to place you? You're gonna take the view of Teddy Toothpick, so you should probably see if you can just stand like this. Yeah. Dodgy Dan. Let's put you in an overstance. Herman Henchman. Let's just see if we can get this way around. No. Maybe this. Ooh. Okay, let's see. Gotta get it real close to the wall there if we're gonna make it around Teddy. We did it. Let's just see. Herm Herman Henchman has one more step. Yes, he could get all the way over here. Now, this is good. This is good. If we can place him here, we could probably have Sheldon Shieldwise in front. All right. This is a good Overwatch stance, and we also have a climbing possibility, don't we? No, we didn't. We can't climb up that way. We need to use the main entrance, but that doesn't matter. Oh, this is Donnie Dodger. Let's see how far he can go. Sheldon Shieldwise could probably get all the way to the house inside. 
Let's see how far you can go. No, you can't. So you're gonna be the one who's standing here and like covering the rangers in behind. Oh yes. We're gonna take an end turn to keep you in place. And Sheldon Shieldwise, can you maybe Sheldon Shieldwise. Let's see if we can get you all the way into this house and then like what if we do it like this in an ambush oh yeah that's a good spot for an ambush the first round is ending now everybody has taken their turn a new round has started this is the moment where someone might actually pop up let's just take a look here let's just see yes there we have someone. That would be detail. Okay. Okay, let's see if I can make it all the way up to the side entrance. Let's just see here. See if we can make it around these stairs. No. Uh, let's see. I am gonna be careful not to shut the door off. Good field down there. Okay, let's see. This is probably a good spot just for an overwatch here. I need to get the others up. Oh, there are four enemies taking their turn. Maybe I should have taken a delay in case anybody else pops up. Oh, I got a good overview of this, huh? I got a good one. I see two good clusters down there and a few shards as well. That could be profitable. But reaching that is probably connected to quite a bit of pain. And the captain is going straight for the ramp over here. Let's see if we can get him up. Oh, he can't cross the line anywhere else than that. So this is where he ends up. This is a good spot. It's close. Both to the Wordstone field and also to the enemies. Hmm. There's an enemy right over there. Let's let's see if the captain has spotted anyone new. No, this this dude is all alone. For now. Let's see how far we can get Herman Henchman. Ah, he can't get that far. Nope. Nope. That's too close. Let's just see if we can if we can get you up on these stairs instead. Is there a window over there going looking out? Nope. Nope. Windows here. So you are gonna be on these stairs. In an overwatch. Yeah. And dodgy Dan. You probably would have the same problem not being able to get that far. So the captain would probably prefer that you go through the house as well. So you can guard the front entrance. With an overwatch stance right there. And let's see. Teddy Toothpick. How far you can go. Um... Maybe you could actually get behind the captain. You don't have a, a heavy equipment. Uh, you, could you get all the way out there? Nope. This would be a vulnerable spot. So let's get you right back. See if we can go in a straight line towards the stairways then. Let's see here. Ooh, let's see if we can just sneak around the corner. We could. This is good and there and let's see we got one more step if I crack the line here I could maybe get a little further towards the door oh look at this this is a good spot and he has a lot of uh, a lot of range as well right next to me we got this Teddy all right Sheldon shield wise now he is already a little bit closer 
to the captain. So let's see if he could if he could get up here in some kind of no, he can't. And he can't make a parry stance here either. So we're going to have to take an... If he stands here, that dude over there would probably be able to engage him. No. No, the firing squad will stop his advance. With all their shooting, he's just going to end his turn right here. This is... He is blocking it, and he's not going to run down the ramp. He's going to stay close. So, Donnie Dodger, the last one. You would need to go up the stairs as well. You, we, we can't, with all this heavy gear. Oops, let's just see if we can crack it near the chair like that. Let's just end the turn here. And this is the end of the round number two as well. We've only spotted one enemy so far. Oh, something is happening now. Let's see what's going on here. A new round has started. Where is he? Where is he? Where did he go? Where did he go? I'm just gonna take a look at the map. Okay, he's still down there or... No. No. He's gone somewhere. Ah, here he is. He's over here. Uh-huh. Okay, so he didn't approach us. I'm thinking... I'm really thinking, how can I assist them most? I think if I place myself here, someone else could help me in my back. That would be like Sheldon or someone else. This is a good spot to fire. I'm, I'm gonna delay this time. I'm gonna... Because we have the chance to see two more movements. And I have lots of strategy points. So let's see if anything is happening. Because they could, all of a sudden, they could come from over the, over there and, and then boom. something's happening. Okay, Captain, let's just take a look. That is their leader. Their leader is so close. I don't see anyone else for the moment. And there is... Okay. Fine. So their leader pops up. Okay. We have to be careful not to shut off for any other strategic movements. But a delay here. And then a movement again. Possibly even a delay move. Hmm. The captain is a strategic genius, so he knows what he's doing. Let's assume that. Right? I'm gonna delay once more. I can do that. I can do that. Oh, the suspense. And I see someone over there. We're on that platform. Oh, there's two of them. Okay, now they're coming. Now they're ganging up on us, huh? Okay, so it is the captain's turn again. I think it's gonna be pretty intense here in this area right in front of us. So I, I'm thinking, I'm thinking a smart thing would be to stay out here and get more out that can shoot and stuff. Sheldon shield-wise probably can't disengage while the captain is standing here, but I don't think he's gonna be engaged in this next round. I have a longer range than most of the warriors on the stairs. So I'm gonna place myself up here and hopefully those frontline dueling pistol warriors can come and place themselves a little bit closer. They're just standing there, huh, Teddy? Can you resist? Can you resist? Ah, you can't. You can't do it. Let's just see if... There's a window in here that was cracked. Let's see if we could get a shot in at their leader down there. Is he is he there? I'm looking at Yeah, he's there. He's, look at that. Okay, Teddy Toothpick. You want to do the honors of a possible first blood? 
Yes, that was the first blood. Well done, Teddy Toothpick. Well done. But you can't reload. So, well, maybe, maybe we should uh, get back and be certain not to, not to block for any of the the warriors coming up the stairs. So, so we're gonna put you here, Teddy Toothpick. Now let's see, Dodgy Dan. Okay, let's get you up here. Let me just see. Oh, maybe I should go in a more. How about if I just sneak behind you like that? Let's see, yes, maybe we could get around this. Something like that. And then we're gonna crack the line. That's some sticky stuff here. Okay, I got two more movements and we need to get you out in a in a closer Okay, this is this is good. This is pretty good. Close enough to take someone who's closing in on us. They're just looking at that field. This is good. Well done, Dodgy Dan. You're gonna take an overwatch here. And I'm pretty certain you're gonna hit something if they pop up within range. Let's just see. Can we sneak around this? Nah, I don't believe so. Nope. It's as if all these stairs are kind of sticky. Okay. And you have two. Two movement possibilities. Also. So maybe you should just... You, you can't get past. Now, so this is, this is where you are going to be placed. Listen up. I would really suggest you should try us out, huh? Just just to see the fireworks. Come on. Don't you feel tempted? Another overwatch on the ramp and Donnie Dodger. You uh, actually have uh, some pretty good uh, ballistic skills. So maybe you should have had your dueling pistols as your your primary weapons instead of uh, Dodgy Dan, for instance. Now let's just see, you have two as well. And, hmm. It would be a good thing to get you down there to defend, but there is no space on the ramp. Is there any way I can be more efficient here? Is there any way that I can, I can crack a line some special way or now he was over here. Maybe, maybe I could. If I go up this way, real careful. Oh, look, look. This may be smart. This may be smart, actually. Let's just see. And then we. I, I think. I actually think it's possible to get down here. I can't get past that one. Okay. I mean, we are talking about millimeters here. Let's just try once more. Let's see. Ah, yes! 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 That's right. Now let's see, um... Let's see. If I place him here, the captain wouldn't be able to move up or anything. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna place you here. What I'm trying to say is that the captain says you should be in an ambush right here. Oh yes. That's right. I don't know if anybody can pass you. And Sheldon Shieldwise, oh yes. You are gonna be ready to engage. I'm just gonna take you up a little further up like this. And maybe a little to the side. Um, a little to the side. I think you're still blocking the ramp. But someone else could pass. I, I may have to... A parry stance it is. A new round has started. Something's going on over there. Okay. What else? What else? Okay, let me just see. Let's just take these ob objective uh, thing off the screen here. We know where the word stone is, so... 
you know, I'm 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 gonna wait. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna delay here because I think I think their leader is gonna try and come for us. And then I would have two shots for him. I'm gonna delay. I'm gonna delay. Okay. This is a decisive moment. The first encounter so close. And Sheldon, you're ready, right? You're ready, right? Come on. Yeah, that's nice, Captain. Let's see some shooting. Ooh, yes. And maybe, maybe a few pieces of lead more. Ah, that was, that was sad. But, well done. Okay, Sheldon, once again, you show us why you are the White Knight. And a counterattack. And a parry! Oh my god, Sheldon, you are amazing! Yeah. Yes, look at that! Does he have another attack? No. No. That was it? Okay, Captain, let's just take a look at this guy. He's carrying some heavy damage. He is, he is, but this guy, he's going down. Awesome. Well, Captain. First of all, we need to reload. Let's just stretch the point like this. You probably can't get a shot in this close, so... Um, what if we move you over here? You could take an aimed shot. You could do that. Let's give this guy some damage. Nice. All right. And then you can... Uh, you can maybe, maybe stretch this point a bit more and you can reload and this will be a position for an overwatch. There are still incoming. So an overwatch stands right there. Okay, I think that was a good thing I delayed. Maybe I should try for some damage here. He's got 25. He's got 25. Let's just see here. Ah, oh, that's too bad. There are a lot of incoming. Now what are we gonna do? First of all, reload. I'm gonna have to go for, for an overwatch here. Ah, oh, that was a pity. But this is a good place for an overwatch stance and that will be of good use. See, there's incoming. Would you mind taking a cluster with you for us? Oh, okay. Okay, you don't care about that. That's too bad. Oh, he was a fast dude. Running past that door. Okay. Herman Henchman. Let's take an overwatch with you as well. Right there. That's good. That's good. And, and the same, I think, should, should work for you. Um, but maybe the smart thing would be to take you down here, Dodgy Dan. Right here. And then um, go for an overwatch. Let's reload. An overwatch for you. That means that Teddy Toothpick could be out here on the ramp as well. Let's just see if we could get you into this spot right here. Yeah. And... Actually, you're gonna spend your shot when the first dude moves. But it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Let's see who you can shoot. You can shoot pretty far out there. That's nice. So any of these two move, you take them out. Or at least deal some damage to them. You're gonna go for an overwatch. Okay. Maybe it's time. It is time for... Yeah, <laughs> that's too bad. I did not expect that. This is what I love and hate about Mordheim. You cannot plan with dice rolls. So, okay. <laughs> well, 
first kill of the day. I, I just gave up on that kill. I just gave up on it. Okay, let's see. What have you got for us? Wow, you got some nice stuff in here. You got some really nice stuff. Concentration, crossbow pistols. We can't use that, but it's probably good for selling. You got a hammer as well and an axe. We don't use hammers and axes. Anyway, thank you very much for that. And Sheldon Shieldwise is now loaded. You were, you were actually doing really good. So how about if we move you to this, this side instead, maybe? Yeah, this is a good position. Yeah, so let's go. And you're gonna go into an ambush right there. Okay. And it's the end of the round. That was the last turn from our side in this round. Now let's see. A new okay. round has okay. started. Yeah, that's right, Teddy. That's right. Okay, you see? See? He's going for... He's going for the climb. Oh. Oh, this guy must like lead. I mean, he's sucking it to him. And maybe a little... A little stick. And some more lead. <laughs> he just changed directions. Ooh, you parried again, Sheldon. This is amazing work. Amazing skills. Incredible, Sheldon Shieldwise. And it's my turn. You're simply giving this turn to me. Thank you. Thank you. Last mission's most valuable warrior, Mage Master. Oh, look at that. 67, even though, even though he's engaged. Let's just take a look at him. He's down to 62. What I'm gonna do is, I am gonna see if I can stretch this a little more like that, and then, and then I'm gonna delay just to see who else is coming in. I don't know if I've mentioned this, but I do have two shots. So if I can spend one shot during my turn, and then one in Overwatch, I would really be doing good. Oh, this guy, he gets another idea, and he is actually coming up here, so what's going on? What, 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 is he charging? Nope, he's not. He can't charge, it's, it's, it's too close quarters, uh, probably, because if he was charging our ambush, it wouldn't have worked. Donnie Dodger is, is standing down here, and Ooh, he's really close to him. But this guy, who's right up on us, he has a lot of health. So maybe we need to try and see if we can get... What is the percentage of him? Ah, he's covered. He's partially covered. Let's just see there. Oh, now he is. Look at that percentage of that. Yup. Yup. You're going to taste some of that. And I'm going to move a little bit to the side. Stretch the point and reload and then I'm gonna stretch the point a little more out on the ramp and I'm gonna use my overwatch possibility here. They are still incoming. Let's give them a little hello if they move closer. So Mason, maybe it's time for you to lay down your dueling pistols and switch weapons. Yeah. I'm going over here. That's right. Now let's see. The captain has three attacks. <coughs> that would be one attack. Whee! That one hurt. That one really hurt. Okay, this... this you see? You see? The captain can hurt as well. He's gonna go into a 92% parry stance. And he has one counterattack possibility. That's good. That's good. So. And you. You can make a reload here. And an overwatch here. You're too close to shoot at him. Let's just see how he's doing. He's down to 124. 
Our captain got really hurt here. 162. And this guy has 62. This is, uh, this is okay. This is okay. We have an Overwatch stand from Dodgy Dan. Keeping a good eye down there. Maybe an Overwatch from Teddy as well. Let's just see. Let's do an Overwatch. You have a long range here. Okay, I think you are gonna reload Herman Henchman. And let's just see here. I think an Overwatch stance is probably the wisest thing the captain could order Herman Henchman to do. And Donnie Dodger. Let's see what you can do. Whoa, you just made a crit on him. He held his ground, but you heard him. You really heard him. And you got momentum now, which means that the next attack you have an extra percentage. I think it's 20%, so 95% for this next attack. So, this is uh, an attack. <laughs> yes, that's right. And then Donnie Dodger takes up. Harry stands without a counter-strike possibility, but... Let's just see. And Sheldon Shieldwise. Okay. 87 percent. Let's just see how things are going. Not so good, Sheldon. I think, I think, um, the parry stands percentage is pretty good. And you've been doing well. So, so let's see if, uh, if that would bear some fruit. A good counterattack. In their turn is like giving them extra damage. A new round <laughs> has started. <laughs> Come on! That hurt! But here's what we were talking about. <laughs> ah, nice one, Sheldon. And he only had one attack. Okay, Sheldon, you're doing well. Teddy. Ah, Teddy, uh, I saw, I saw that, that fence. It, it probably jumped right there. Okay, he's going for front entrance. He's going for the front entrance. I can't just let that go, huh? We need to take them out. Oh yeah, right on. Let's see. He's got eight. He's got eight. He's got eight. Is this what I want to do? Yep. This is what I want to do. Please. Yes! Yes! I got my fourth enemy put out of action on my fourth mission. Okay, I, I've got no more here, so I'm gonna put myself here in a position where I can shoot down the stairs once I have reloaded. Oh, that was that was good. That was that was good. Now let's see. Let's see out here. He's just lying down there. We need to loot him this time. Oh, there he comes. So let, let's just see, um, you? We need to talk a little more here. I think, I think we need to talk even more, you and I. Yep, and the conversation is over. Let's just see what we can do. Let's just loot. A great axe, that's... That's the one you hurt me with, and it's worth, what, four gold coins? Never mind. Gratitude. The captain has a lot of movement steps left, so let's see if if he could loot this guy. Ah, uh, you have a dagger and an axe. Okay. Okay. A dagger is one gold coin. So, guys, if you want to bring home a gold coin, feel free. An ambush stance would be, would be nice, or just maybe just, you know, a parry stance. Because they can't charge up here anyway. So a parry stance of 92%, oh that's a good percentage, right? Oh, we already made them roll dices for routing. Okay, that was early. <laughs> we stopped their advance. 
Okay. Okay. There's a valuable dagger lying down there. Um. Anyone? We would rather. Let's just see. You can, you can actually reload after the shot. So why not? Yeah. Yeah. How do you like that? Hmm. Two pieces of lead. Ah, uh, yeah. And turn. Can't move or anything. Okay, Teddy Toothpick. I think the best thing that you could do, Teddy, is to just watch. Oh, that is a good percentage. How much does he have? This guy has 208 health as well as that guy. And this guy down here, he has 114. Okay. Um... An overwatch stance is still a smart thing. The guy down there at the end of the ramp, he can probably charge all the way up, and that means you can't get him in an overwatch shot. Dodgy Dan. Let's just see. A reload. And, ooh. Ooh, that is a good percentage there, Dodgy Dan. This is an overwatch stance for Dodgy Dan. Taking anyone on who seems to not stand still ah you probably should have taken that one go coin dagger down there let's see sheldon she wise we're gonna move you a little further up this ramp just far enough to maybe he needs to move out of his blue waypoint and if he does that we got a few overwatch shots and you can take a parry stance you still got 154 health that's pretty good now let's just see uh you have space enough for uh a little gold coin one dagger i didn't even think about the fact that he may be in an ambush stance actually a hairy stance of 54 percent all right so now it's their hero's turn he's over here Okay, what's going on? Here he comes. Well done, Teddy Toothpick. Well done. Oh, yeah. A new round has started. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, okay, but at least he left the front entrance. Okay, he's coming, he's coming, he's charging. And you are parrying again, Sheldon. This is amazing. And you see, you see, it only costs... One to counterattack here. One. Okay. Ah, nice. Nice one. But this guy's got a load of life. He's got a lot. Let's just take a look at how much he's got. 148. Yeah, well, loads and loads. Well, there is nothing to it, really. Let's just stretch the point here a little bit before we reload. That was a good reload. <laughs> and let's see. He's engaged. If we take him out, we can't loot. If we take this guy out, we may be able to loot this turn. Ah, that was too bad. Did, did you see that? I, I believe there was, there was just a pigeon, you know, flying right by just as I fired that arrow. I'm, I'm pretty sure. You didn't see it? You didn't see it? Damn pigeon. Damn pigeon. I don't know how many times they have to roll the dice for a route test. Guess they're not gonna do it before the next one has been put out of action, as they call it. But an Overwatch stands right here. Does he climb up or does he go for the front entrance? No. He's just running around the wall, showing off his big weapons. Oi! Nice one, huh? Nice one, and the pigeon is gone now, so... Okay, he's coming around that way. Okay, that is a lootable position. Let's just see how much life he has. He has 93 wounds. Maybe the smartest thing to do would be to... Delay. And we could take the shooters if he's put out of action. We could jump down, loot, and climb up again. All right, a delay for the captain. And now we're gonna see if we can lay some serious damage on you. Yeah. Maybe it's not possible to shoot him from up here from the position you're in. 
And maybe you're even too close. Let's just see here. No, 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 you can't. I don't see it. Nope. You can shoot others, but not that guy down there. That's kind of a pity. I think the overwatch would be the right thing to do. There are probably gonna be more running around right in front of us, so why not just, you know, pick him out? You! Let's reload here. Okay. And let's see if we can get him. Yeah. No. That's not him. Okay. So we can't shoot him downstairs. We're just gonna have to see if we can find this spot again. Now, an overwatch stance is smart. Let's just see. Like this. Okay. And you. Let's see if... Can you... You can fire down at him. Okay. Hmm. That is a good percentage, actually. Ah. Uh, yeah. And if you make it an aim shot, it will be 93. Let's do this. Ah, that's too bad! A 93% chance and I roll 98. Okay. Let's get you off this ramp. There is nothing more you can do right now. So let's just stretch this point like this. And then we reload. And we still got one movement point. So we could get you inside this house. Just not in the way. Okay. And you can end your turn here. Now, Mason. We didn't get much damage done on him this turn. So what would be smart to do would be to put him in a parry stance. He would have three counterattacks. Yeah, we're just gonna wait until you come up here. You'd be so much easier to loot. So, Sheldon Shieldwise, let's see you dazzle the opponents with your skills or they will show off. Hmm. Okay. Okay, but you did a good counterattack before, so uh, so let's try that again. You're really taking some hard hits up there, Sheldon. And you're gonna take a parry stance right here, and it would be the hero's turn next, and they will end the round. We need some more warriors, if you ask me. And not a, a new marksman. I don't really know why the captain hired a new marksman. Ooh. Ah, that's too bad. I mean, that fence there, Teddy. It's jumping. Okay, he is going for the front door. A new round. A new round has started. <laughs> Wee! That's nice, Shelton Shearwise. Oh my gosh. Oh, he can dodge too. Okay. Okay. And you can parry. You can parry. How about you, dude? Oh, Sheldon Shoopwise only had one counter attack. Okay. So let's just, uh, if we stretch a bit, reload right here. Let's just see how we are doing this. And let's, let's reload. See what our options are. Let's just take a look at this. And 82, even though he's a quarter to half covered. I rolled 98 last time, so I'm going to take this shot just to be sure. Let's do it this way. Yeah, yeah, that's right. That's right. That was a message from Mage Master. Um, let's just see. That hero is coming up through the stairs, or at least he wants to. Let's reload right here and I still have a movement point let's just see if I can I can still give him a shot but an overwatch would probably be the best thing right here so so an overwatch stands here if you ask me we really need another warrior instead of another marksman but the captain speaks so well of Nero the hero oh oh now he's going for the stairs Okay, I am feeling a bit exposed up there. Let's just see. This guy, he it's its his turn now. So, question is what he is going to do. The captain should delay. Let's just see what he's doing. It may hurt because he's not in a defensive stance. Let's see. Oh, you went into an ambush down there. Now, let's see. Let's see if, if, if you... 
would like some lead. Um. Yep. Ha <laughs> ha. That's good, Herman Henchman. You took it without any aiming or anything. Now let's let's just see. Um, this is the point where we need an extra warrior. So if you switch your weapons, could you be able to cover this door? You actually can't switch weapons. There's no problem in that. We are just gonna reload. And this is where you need to show that you can dodge as well. We're gonna place you in front of this door and we're gonna put you in a dodge stance of zero percent. How about that, Herman Hedgeman? But that's the most defensive percentage you can get. Zero percent. Teddy Toothpick. You're getting a new warband eye in the sky marksman dude colleague tomorrow. Let's just see. You can actually take that guy. And he's the hero. Maybe you could stop his advance with an overwatch. Right there. Like that. The captain keeps talking about this Nero hero guy. He seems very happy that he has recruited him. There must be some plan. The captain doesn't do anything without laying a plan. And Perry this is his plan for now. And dodgy Dan. Let's see if we can get you up. We can. Okay, where is... Let's just take a real quick look here. He's got 40. And dodgy Dan can hurt him 36, so he can't kill him with one shot. However... However, he could get in here and protect the rest of us. Maybe stop the approach of someone coming in through this way. So this is a good place to place an overwatch stance. Right here. Okay. And Donny Dodger. It would be much easier if he would just come up here. So let's see if a Perry stance wouldn't be the smart thing to do. And Sheldon, Shearwise, let's see your skills once more. <laughs> this time you forgot to dodge, huh? And now, a parry stance for you, Sheldon, Shearwise. Like this. This is coming to an end, this mission, I think. He just took an ambush over there. A new round. Oi, nice dodging, Sheldon. Nice dodging. And here comes a counterattack for you. <laughs> okay, and you can bury as well. Oh my god, Sheldon. You truly are our white knight, aka the surgeon. Let's see. This guy. With an aimed shot, 62. That seems fine. Ah, there are a lot of pigeons around here. Did you see that one? Flapping right in front of my arrows. Okay. Okay. Let's just reload here. And, uh, but he's gonna come up now. And an overwatch here might actually stop his approach by the stairs. So let's see. Here he comes. Here, oh, nice one, Dodgy Dan. That was a good one. What? <laughs> okay, he's down there feeling safe in an ambush. And you, Captain, you did a smart thing before when you delayed. Oh, nice one, Teddy Toothpick. Oh, you trying to shoot at us, at our Captain? You trying to shoot at us? Okay, dodgy Dan, let's just see. Conrad Krieger. He has a lot of health down there. Uh, stretch the point and reload. And maybe... Maybe you should, once again, take an overwatch stance here. Yeah. You're too far away from that dude shooting his bow at our captain. So maybe the smartest thing that Herman Henchman can do is protect the rest of us. And he's gonna switch weapons. Then we can put him into an ambush stance. Oh, wait a minute. 
maybe the smartest thing to do would be to get in an ambush right here because that means that some of the warriors that are down outside on on the ramp they would be able to come and assist if he comes up that way or if he comes up this way they'll have to run all the way around the stairs but it doesn't matter this is a good place for an ambush stance okay this dude has no life whatsoever no life so let's just see you gonna jump down and get hurt And you, you need to to go away. Yes, you you need to go away. Let's see what he's got here. Ah, that was a short bow and a great axe. Okay, I believe the short bow gives a little more than the than the ordinary axe. We have a great axe already. So there are. Not much down here, really. Let's see if we can if we can get back up. We nice captain, nice. That was very good. And let's see if we can get past. Oh, we can get past all of them up there. That was very good. And that means that the captain can also assist with this ambush up here. This is good. And Teddy Toothpick. Let's just see. You're a good climber. And there are two things down there for you. So let's just jump down here. Alright, Teddy. Let's see if you can... Oh, look at all that nice word stone out there, and it doesn't seem as if we're gonna be able to get any of it. Let's see if we can get you up. Oh, yes, that is so lucky. That is so good. That is so good. You need to end your turn up here. That's, that's all you can do. And that makes you pretty vulnerable. Let's just see, Sheldon. I'm looking so much forward to every time you <laughs> fight. Yes! It's like art really um let's just see how much ah he's got 59 that's not much that's not much we're going into a parry because you're blocking the way up now donny dodger you should maybe be taken over after sheldon shield wise but maybe the smartest thing to do would be to keep you up here in case someone attacks Teddy toothpick and and we can put you in a in a parry stance right here and let's see what the hero does oh they've successfully rolled another route test yeah yeah that's right that's right okay a new round has started. Nice, Perry Sheldon. Once again, you are amazing. Let's see that yeah. counter attack right there. Ay, yeah, yeah. Okay, that was that was like 17. It wasn't so bad. Uh, well, the stairways are pretty well covered. So maybe if if I if I stretch the blue point a bit higher, I might get a better angle at this guy. Let's just see if we can stretch it a little more. Like that. And then an aimed shot. Ooh, there are many pigeons today. Many. Okay. Uh, okay. So it's gonna be uh uh, reload up here and and I could cover the stairways as well with uh, with an overwatch stance so reload it is now if this guy chickens out and decides to flee I'll still get him in an overwatch stance oh he's coming he's coming he's a nice one that was a nice one dodgy dander he's going through the other stairs Ooh, you see you see that you think you're coming up smart <laughs> 
and you're stepping right into it. Uh oh. Nice. Dodging Herman Henchman. Ooh, he just had one attack. Okay. Okay, so you so you you are going because maybe just maybe we could charge. Could we charge up the stairs? Can't charge. Oh, you can make a swift charge. Nice one. Oh, that's too bad. You just missed his toe. He's got more attacks. You see, even an ankle can hurt. And then there is a parry stance of 92%. That's right, 92%. And Teddy Toothpick. Let's just see here. He's got 30. And this guy in here, he has 53. That's not much. So we're gonna, we're gonna reload, and then we're gonna see if we can find a good position in here where he is. Oh, that's a nice one. 54. I guess we could possibly take him out this turn. But they are good at rolling route tests, so this is gonna be an overwatch stance. Right there. Dodgy Dan, you're not gonna reload your weapons. You're not gonna reload them. You were gonna switch. You're gonna switch weapons here. And then you you'd go to this side over here. How about if we engage? Now he may take take some damage. <laughs> good, that's good. The problem is now that Dodgy Dan could take some damage. He could. Oh you? You still here? Let's do something about that. Shall we? Yup. See the hero, he's probably gonna come running up right now. He's probably gonna do that. So the smart thing to do would maybe just be to... See if I can get up the ramp without... That's it. Like this. And... Then we're gonna put him to an ambush right here. Oh yeah, that's a good one. And let's see, what have you got in your bag? You got three slots and you got a one gold coin dagger. Let's just see here. You had some, you had some good stuff for Danny Dodge's inventory there. And let's just move up the ramp here as well. You see that, that hero, he's gonna come running straight up. If we place Donnie Dodger on the ramp so he has a possibility of disengaging backwards and then in a parry stands here and you have two counter attacks. It is the hero you are up against here Donnie Dodger. Let's see. Do you have anything to loot? You have four empty slots so if this guy has anything and it get him. Yeah. Yes that is right. Yeah. Okay. Nice. And now we approach the sweet moment. Returning from battle in one piece is always a sweet moment. But it is also the moment where we discover the newfound skills and the spoils of war. And we receive advancements and experience and better gear. And today, of course, we can fully enjoy the battle tales of yet another strategically superior and glorious victory for the firing squad. Let's share that sweet moment together in tomorrow's episode of Mage Master's Amazing Adventures with the Firing Squad into Vortheim, the city of the damned. Thanks for now, I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, then please leave a note in the commentary below, and hit that subscribe button and the notification button if you want to be notified of new releases. So that's it for me, thanks and have a nice day.